Ah, FBL is finally settling down, so we all know the best players to get in our team. <laughs> Ah, so that's all of our plans burned to the ground, and now we're gonna have to get Big Ronnie in. <laughs> but today, Big and Boy will be chinwagging if I will be going Ronaldo yes or Christian no in my FBL team. Am I gonna get him in this week? Ooh, let's find out. Uh... The FBL Game Week Team Selection. First, we give a review on how last week went. Then we look forward on to next week, selecting our team, making transfers, and choosing our captain. We're in game week three. I scored. Ooh. 65 points, we hey! Which means my overall rank has gone up again. Oh, yes, daddy! To 303,000th in the world. Lucky! Where my sexy team look like uh, this. Now, game week three was so long ago, uh, you probably don't even care about how my team went, right? It's been 84 years. So I'll go through it in a proper speedrun style, you know, and then move on to my game week four team. Yes. Robert Sanchez, aha! Let's all laugh at the fellas that said Sanchez will never get some extra save points, right? He'll never make enough saves to get those extra keeper points. He's not the best. But guess what? He finally got three saves this game, meaning he got an extra one point. Well, hey! Ah, uh, wait, what's that? He conceded two goals, so still only got two points. I like it. Sir Trent, ah, oh, what an absolute Donny he is, right? No goals, no assists, no clean cheaps. All vibes here, as he still managed to capture the two bonus points for doing absolutely nothing. Ah, oh, lovely. Luke Shaw, well, hey, get the vodka out, lads, well, hey! And it's time to party, as Shaw actually got a clean sheet. Hey! <laughs> Luke Ealing started the man bun fella man, got disappointed by the man bun fella man. Ah, what a surprise. <laughs> to be fair though, he was versing the best ever team in the world, Brexit Burnley. There is no stopping that Chrissy Wood wonder strike, he's the best striker in the world. Ah, uh, Shawnee Dice lad, a bow off, see you never, get rid of him. <laughs> Mo Salah! I was really tempted to spin his jaw right at the end, you know, and transfer him out for a son, because I was like, hmm, if I might wildcard and give him four, then why not go for it? But turns out that would have been a massive penalty to me as Salah ended up scoring a penalty and matching his points anyway. Oh, hey! So a 10-pointer against Chelsea. Oh, you love to see it. He is the best. Oh, uh, why couldn't you do that last week against Burnley when we all captained you, though? I like it. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, dear. How the mighty have fallen here. From being essential before Game Week 1 to scoring a hat-trick in Game Week 1 to now back-to-back -back blanks and every single geezer and their nan is using and abusing him to transfer him out to get CR7 in. Bruno lad, I have just one word for you, and that is... I like it! Rafinha, again, yet again, Rafi boy, being an absolute tease, you know, with so many good chances, so many chances to score, and he doesn't put any of them away and doesn't get as many points. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. Ben Rama, <coughs> sorry, sorry, FBL YouTuber apology, as the only reason that Ben Rama blanked was because I transferred him in, right? Yeah. No. Don't you just hate it when people say that? He only blanked because you got him in. Yes, that's how the world works, okay? Ha! I jinxed it! Ha ha! Ah ha ha! Also meaning my transfer in this week of Ben Rama was my unlucky of the week. I like it! Daddy Inks, oh, continuing to be an absolute daddy here, and maybe potentially for the last time as well, as I might be getting him out this week. Ugh. So for potentially the last time in my team, let's say the magic words. Oh yes, daddy! Antonio, Mr. Captain Antonio! How is he doing this good right now? What is going on? I said let's drug test him as a joke last week, but honestly, I don't think it's a joke no more. <laughs> but I will happily, chappily take those 11 points double to the 22, though. So that is just a massive, yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Callum Wilson, the only kind of differential I've actually got in my team. Ah. And he goes and scores, way. Hey! And now he might be injured. Ah. I like it. I'm very, very happy with his return here, though. And he even secured all of the boner points as well. Oh, lovely. So that was that for game week three. Actually, our worst game week so far of the season, and I got 65 points. Wow, I'll take that. Definitely not a bad week at all. I got one defensive clean sheet, three assists, and three goals in there. Meaning I got another Shrek-style green arrow up in here, up to almost 300k in the world already in game week three. We love it. So you know what? Oh, I'm actually very, very happy with that side. It just makes me... It just makes me want to... <laughs> but guess what, lads? Guess what? It's actually time to move on.
to the gaming four preview with my sexual team currently looking like uh, this. But, 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 spoiler alert could all change, right? As you best get all of your ear holes ready, right? As I have quite a lot to chinwag about you, a lot of sweet nothing is going to be whispered directly to you and you're going to be like, ooh, wow. <laughs> well, right now, I actually have two free transfers ready for my team. Oh, what's that? I've also got something else. I've got a wild card in my back pocket if I want to use that instead, ah. Now, I do want to say straight off the bat, though, that I have not hit or smashed that wild card button yet, but it could happen. But it's looking likely that I'm not going to wild card this week. I'll probably will leave it until game week 7 or so. But a few things this week might actually force me into it earlier than I want to. So let's actually get into them, shall we? We're right now in this team. We've got the Greek god Simakas himself just chilling on the bench, right? He's just chillaxing, having a good time. Who not only might not start anymore because Robertson is now back. But he has also taken up a Liverpool spot, which I kind of really want right now. Seeing that Firmino might be out and Jota is now probably the best midfielder in the game. Like, I just really want Jota, man. Please give him to me. Give him to me now. We also have a Daddy Ings, who, yes, has been an absolute daddy, right? Returning in all three of his first three games. But now has tougher fixtures than a steak that has been cooked for about two seconds. Even though Daddy Daddy is a daddy, he is definitely not chewing through them. Those fixtures are not very nice. We also have the potentially injured Callum Wilson in here, who has been quite impressive lately, but he's not going to continue to impress if he's hopping on one leg and can he play, can he? Uh, no. <laughs> and then also we have a Bruno Fernandes, who now might lose penalties, get less free kicks, and probably be less likely to score as well, because I very much doubt that he's going to be making those runs behind the striker anymore, because Ronaldo's just going to be sitting there ready for the ball instead. So I think he's going to turn into much more of a creator and end up with less effort. FPL points. Uh, we do not want that. No, no, no. So we actually have four big boy problems in my team here. But what ones do we prioritize? And we want to get Ronaldo in. What do we do? Well, don't worry. Don't worry. I've got my calculator out. I've got my protractor out. I've been analyzing every possible move I can possibly do with my team, right? And I have now got a bunch of different moves that I am potentially considering. So I'm going to show them all to you. And I want you guys out there and girls and non-binary beans, every single one of you out there, to put down in the comments what ones out of these moves you think is better for my team or what ones you you would do if you had my team instead. So potential move number one is Ings and Wilson out to Lukaku and Dennis the Menace. Whoa, whoa, what? Using two free transfers this week and none of them are going to be on Ronaldo? Are you mad? But this one is more thinking that if Wilson is out and DCL, my ideal replacement for him, is also out, I kind of want to be getting rid of Wilson and I kind of also want to get rid of Ings, who doesn't have great fixtures as well. And these moves right here allow me to have the big boy differential of the big boy himself, Lukaku, and also Dennis the Menace, who has three great fixtures, so could do very well in the next three as well. But, yeah, big oopsie daisy, we don't have Ronaldo, Cristiano. That's not very good then, is it? No, no, no. But at least I will still have Bruno, who, yeah, I don't think is going to be as good as Ronaldo. But is it really worth a hit for potentially only two or three games? I'm not too sure, you know. And with this team, at least I still have some Man United covering Bruno, but I've also got Lukaku as well. So that is why I'm potentially considering it, and it doesn't include a hit. So that is potential move number one. Potential moves number two. Wilson and Bruno out, Ronaldo and Greenwood in. Ah, yes, now we're talking, all right? So this move would include effectively swapping my Man United premiums around, you know, a little bit of roundabout rotation there by getting Bruno out and swapping him for Ronaldo. We love it. But then also getting in a Greenwood in there for the potentially injured Wilson. And I've actually gone for Greenwood now over any other midfielder, mainly because I can't quite get to Jota because I got Simicast blocking that third Liverpool spot. And also I think Greenwood is right now the best midfielder option for the next three games, right? And the fact that I'm going to keep my wildcard, I kind of want to get him in now because then I can jump off him after because people who are on their wildcard might not want to go for him and other people might not want to go for him as well but also if for whatever reason Ronaldo doesn't start against Newcastle like um I can't imagine that won't happen but what if it does at least I have a Greenwood to cover most of the game for that as well so Greenwood could be any other midfielder in here but I've gone for him for now but these moves right here mainly mean I get Ronaldo in for free what absolutely lovely but then unfortunately we would have to keep Ings was very bad fixtures, so that, yeah, not very lovely. But then again, I got Ronaldo. I probably outweighs it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is potential moves number two. Potential moves number three. Ings, Bruno, Simakas out for Ronaldo, Jota, and Semedo for a minus four. Oh boy, that is pretty naughty. So here we would be swapping the United Premiums around again, getting the Ronnie, the Donny in, Ronaldo in for the Bruno. But also now getting in Jota, who is probably my preferred midfielder right now, if Firmino is out, even if he's only out for a week or two. 
Jota is the one, but I'm doing that because I'm getting Simakas out for Semedo as well, who could do very, very well in the next three fixtures, having three great games for him. So not only do I very much attack the great fixtures right now, not only do I get Ronaldo in, but I also fix up my defence, because the rest of my third defenders in my team, pretty wibbly robbly right now, like Ailing, is he going to be great in the next few weeks? Probably not. Semedo, I think he could bang in the next few games. So these moves definitely teasing me very much right now, but then again, if Wilson is definitely out, then I actually can't afford to do this one by transferring out Wilson. And if I were to do these moves and Wilson was out, I'd probably have to play like a brown nil or an ailing against Liverpool just for this week. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. But hopefully he is fit and everything's all good. So that is potential moves number three. Potential moves number four. Ings, Bruno and Wilson out to Ronaldo, Mount and DCL for a hit. Ah, so this one is if Wilson is out, but DCL is back, allowing me to not only bring in Ronaldo, not only get some Chelsea cover with a mount over a Lukaku but also now getting my preferred forward in in a DCL over a Wilson as well. It does mean though I'm not fixing my defence but if you are taking hits in FPL it's usually always better to target the attackers with it rather than the defenders because realistically defenders aren't going to get you that many points. DCL could absolutely bang the next few weeks and definitely be worth it. This one all depends who is fit though because even a Mason Mount might not actually play in the next game against Villa if he is playing a lot over the international break. But this one mm, I'm actually really liking it as well. Maybe maybe. But that is potential moves number four. And finally potential moves number five and this one is actually proper dirty you know. Ings Wilson, Bruno, and Ailing out, so a minus eight, four transfers, to bring in Ronaldo, Lukaku, Smithrow, and Brandon Williams. What? So we are taking out the potentially injured Wilson, Ings with bad fixtures, the non-existent Bruno, and Ailing, who definitely does not look very good at all for the Leeds right now. Their defense is just non-existent in the mud. And I get in a Ronaldo, um, Ronaldo, a Lukaku, uh, yes, Lukaku, Smithrow, who, yeah, okay, but Arsenal have three very good games, including Norwich at home next. And then, unfortunately, the extra hit will be required because I won't have enough money to do it if I don't do the extra hit, and that will be ailing to a Brandon Williams. But then again, Williams actually has a much better fixture than the rest of my defenders next week playing Watford. So maybe, maybe he could get some points there and it will be worth it. So this one is definitely, a, definitely a proper high risk, very, very high risk, but also a very, very high reward, right? As it means I get in Ronaldo and Lukaku, both of them, but I also get in a Smith row to target the fixtures as well. Now that is actually very good. But if I am contemplating a move like this, would it not be just be worth it to use the wild card instead. I'd save the eight points. I would basically have the same team, but better. And yeah, it could be better. And if I do take a hit this massive, it could massively, massively backfire straight away, not just in the next few weeks. But then again, at least if I do do this, I will have the wild card in my back pocket. So later on, if, if some things become a bit more clear and we see some other better players, then maybe I can just go for them instead. So, you know, you know, this one could be the one. But that is potential move number five. So there we go. Five different potential moves and transfers for my team. Two without hits, two with a minus four, and one even with a minus eight point hit. So let's go through them all again quickly. And I want you guys to have a look at them and see what one you prefer. And let me know down below what ones you prefer. So potential move number one. Potential move number two. Potential move number three. Potential move number four and potential move number five right now i'm actually leaning more towards uh one of them one of them might happen <laughs> but honestly i i honestly really can't decide right now mainly because we don't know the injury news on wilson dcl or even lukaku right now actually so when we do find out a bit more about that then maybe that can make up my mind for me anyway we do actually also have potentially another potential move in here but wait, wait, what is that? And that move could be the wild card instead, ah. Where right now, if I was to wild card, I would probably go for something a little like this. Which, yeah, looks good for now, you know. I'm probably long term as well. But I can actually get something quite similar to this right now with only one or two transfers that I make this week. And then also keep my wild card. So is it really worth wild carding when I'm going to keep six or seven of the same players or get in seven or eight players in just one transfer anyway? Do I really fancy smashing that button? Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not too sure. But for right now, my team for this week looks like this. So basically, lads, this team selection video is actually more of a team discussion video, right? As I have no idea, no donkey's clue what I will do. And I kind of just want you guys to help me with this. Because I, I, I'm a bit stuck, you know? And maybe when I finally make a decision, I will update all of you on the Twitter at NathanMakingFC. So you have to, have to follow me if you want to see my updated team. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. And that will be that. But final thing to chinwag today is the captaincy. Where, hey, where I will announce that my captain this week will be... Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo! If I have him in my team. I currently don't have him. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Bruno and Salah are honestly very, very close second behind him though. So if I don't get Ronaldo in, it probably will be a Bruno. But then again, Salah against Leeds. Huh, maybe that is the one to go for. But if I do get in Ronaldo, which is looking very likely, he will be my captain. But that is actually going to be it for today. After I do one more thing, it's the Premier League cards pack opening. So if you don't know already, lads, I will be opening one of these packs every single episode that I do, every single video I do from now on, because I just want to fill out my book and it's just something extra to end the video on, you know? So right here, what are we going to get? Could it be Ronaldo in a pack? No, Ronaldo's not in these packs anymore. All right, let's do an ASMR opening, ready? Uh, oh, that was amazing. Right, uh, accidentally almost opened the shiny side, didn't see that. First player. Oh, boys, this player is proper gross. Oh, I can't believe they give it to us. How gross is that? Pascal gross. Ah, oh, come on. That's gross, it is. Ben Narek, don't care. The Brentford lineup. Ah, oh, look at that. We got a... Boys, we got Mr. Bench Simulator. Donny van der Bench. I like it. The two shinies are oh, a Southampton midfielder. Please don't be Ward Pratt. I've already got him. And a goalkeeper for Leicester. I've already got Michael. The midfielder is... I like it. James Ward Pratt. I've already got him. If this is going to be Smeichel, obviously. It's Smeichel. I like it. I've literally already got all those. So, um, guess we just got to end it on one massive. I like it. But anyway, thank you for watching today. And also, what are we going to do? I think you got to do one more thing. You got to remember. <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs>